In this video, I'd like to share a couple of ideas with you uh, regarding um, getting a sandy or a cement rendered texture on the outside of the plastic building models. Now, this is one wall that I have. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's a very smooth, shiny surface. And I'd like to make that into a cement rendered looking brick wall or, or stone wall. Um, now, I'd I'd like it to be um, able to stick to the plastic okay that's number one I'd like it to be inexpensive and also it needs to be paintable so let's go and have a look at my first idea so this is the model I'm going to texture you might notice it's only half a house um, I cut it in half because I plan on putting it up against the wall the other half of it I'm going to use as a second house. But back to the texturing, the first thing I had to decide is how am I going to make the sand stick to the plastic? My first thoughts were to use acrylic house paint. Um, most people have got some laying around left over from something or other and I know that's going to stick well to the plastic too and it doesn't matter what colour it is, you'll see why later. Before I started painting, I made sure I had some nice fine sand beside me. That's going to be the key ingredient to our texture. And now it's just a matter of painting the surface that you want to have texture on it. Um, I tried to do it as quickly as I could and put the paint on as thick as I could too, so it, it stays wet um, right up to the time where you sprinkle the sand on. So just get a little handful, give it a light sprinkle and everywhere the paint is wet, the sand will stick. And don't worry too much about the edges or any, anywhere where you've gone over where you don't want it to be because that scrapes off quite easy later. So I'm happy with that finish. Um, it was what I expected. My only advice would be to get the paint on as quickly as possible in small areas and also sprinkle the sand on as quick as you can too uh, before the paint dries. So my second method to get the rendered texture, instead of using paint as the glue, this time I'm going to use some gap filler now this one's an acrylic paintable one. I recommend not using silicon because um, you just can't paint over silicon. So this is an interior gap filler. It's paintable, flexible. It's an everyday gap filler that the painters use. So let's have a look at this method. This is just a sample piece of styrene I glued together with a door in it for you. And it's just a simple matter of squirting out the gap filler I don't know how much I should use, something like that. This is an old tube too, so you can see it's a bit stiff compared to what a new tube is like. Um, but you just spread it all out. And once you've got the whole surface covered, it's just a matter of sprinkling the sand on again. This time I put plenty of sand on. I thought to myself, since it's so rough, I might be able to pat it down with my finger to get it a little bit smoother. And shake off the excess sand. And there it is. I don't mind that. As you can see, it's got a lot more texture. It looks like it'll be well suited for uh, an earlier period in time where things were less than perfect back then but um, yeah I don't mind that at all it looks much better so I went ahead and painted them with an airbrush if you prefer a paintbrush I can't see any reason why you couldn't do it that way uh, a couple of things to take note of these areas here are where I didn't put the paint on thick enough and of course the sand hasn't stuck but overall I'm happy with the result. And 
And just keep in mind, this is HO scale. So if your project is something smaller than that, like N scale, you might um, need to think about something a bit finer. Um, maybe some grout that tilers use is one solution. Uh, but anyway, that's all I've got for you in this video. I hope I've given you some good ideas to take home, good ideas for you to progress with your project. If you'd like to have a look at some of my other videos, I've only got two others, this is a new channel, but um, they might give you some ideas as well. But in the meantime, I'll see you next video. Thanks again.